hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so today we're jumping right into it today I'm showing you how I lay my new my kinky crown hair unit and just a heads up this is sponsored content but all thoughts are my own So as you see, I'm just adjusting the wig, making sure it's positioned right before I add the adhesive. Well, the gel, which is pretty much the glue, you know. I'm taking this got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel and I'm just adding this right above my edges around the perimeter of my head making sure I get as close to my edges as possible with not actually applying it to my hair I'm just going to slide the wig up or down and I'm just going to stick that right on the gel and secure it in place. Now I'm just going to take the end of this comb and I'm going to lightly press along the perimeter just ensuring that the wig is secure and then it presses into the gel. Please disregard my struggle faces. You just want to clean up any excess gel. Just take a cloth and just dab that off. Now here's an attempt of laying some baby hairs. Soon I'll master this, but just a little something something. And there you go, she's secure.
first things first, this is a sponsored video by My Kinky Crown Hair. And of course, this is a My Kinky Crown Hair Unit. This is the Glam Wig. And yes, it is living up to its name, honey. It is Glam the Show. I just, how soft it is. But yes, so your girl traded in some kinks for this luxurious uh, unit. This is 100% Peruvian natural hair. Yes, 100% girl, 100%. But I just want to show y'all like how it moves because that's the most important. Also, just look. Look at the shine on this thing. Now, I didn't do anything to this, but um, I washed it. I washed it after receiving it. I've had it for about three weeks now, and I washed it twice. I try, I'm gonna try to wash it every week. Um, just to keep, keep the hair. Like, I wanna treat it like it's my own, and I wash my hair every week. Daily wear and tear, and environment, toll, debris and whatever just get into it just want to make sure it's clean so yeah so let me show you so this is just me washing it no product in it just um i let it air dry just get into it hair flips and all Look at that, it's just like, I'm not even, like. What more can you say after seeing that? If you wanna learn how to uh, slay some baby hairs on a wig, that's not, that's not me. That's not, it's not, not me. You know, I'm trying to do a little something just with the, um, The got to be gel, it kind of does something when you lay it. So sometimes you'll get a little bit of I don't, I don't know. I have to watch a few of y'all to like learn how to do this. A few of y'all YouTubers on here, because I don't be knowing. But it's kind of like nat naturally ladies. I just love this little like piece. But playing with it too. You don't want to play with it too much and get it frizzy. So that's when I just spritz a little bit more water on it to keep it, you know, tamed. But yeah, it's easy, like, for a wig newbie, it's pretty easy. I've worn wigs in the past, but not gluing them down. Um, before I dropped uh, lace front wigs in the past, and I didn't glue them down. Either they had bangs, or um, if you follow me on Instagram, and if not, what you doing? <laughs> Go follow me right now, at you believe. But if you follow me there, you've seen me rock um, a curly wig, um, and that um, was a lace front, but I never glued it down. Um, I just used the combs that came with it, and I also body pinned it on the sides, and if you wear glasses like I do, um, you can kind of like put the glasses like in the hair <laughs> behind your hair, which is another form of security for the wig. It's like, yeah, if you don't know that, yeah. At first, I didn't know what I was doing. I tried to pull up a few videos on here, just how to do it, because I didn't want to jeopardize my edges. They're already a little scarce in some spots, so. I didn't want to do anything that would jeopardize them at all. So I did a few um, test runs with laying this down. And at first I was using the um, got to be freezing freezing spray. I'm gonna get it, hold on one second. One second. The got to be glue blasting freeze spray. I watched a few tubers on here and this is what they were using to lay down their wig. 
So I tried this first um, when I was trying out, you know, how to apply the wig, and it, it works. It works. Um, it works a little too well in my favor. Um, I can't remember who I watched, but they did um, two layers. So you spray this on, let it um, dry, and then put another layer on, and then put the wig on top of it. Um, it was secure all day, um, but when I tried to take it off at night, <laughs> that's when um, we were running into a few issues. Um, I think I had two the the wig cap down a little bit too far. So it was like it was it was on it was glued. It got to be glued. It had it had to be glued because it was stuck <laughs> to my head. And I was trying to figure out how to take it off without ripping my edges. And edges are scarce nowadays. You don't want to jeopardize your edges. Um, but anyway, so yes, I was using this first. It was a little bit too too secure than my liking, so um, I went and picked up the Got To Be Glue Gel. Now, I asked the girl in the hair store which one, she recommended the one in the yellow too, but for some reason I picked up the one in the black, and I think this one is more um, tacky, more whatever, more glue-ish. So when this runs out, I may get the, the white one. But, or the one in the yellow bottle, which is white. That's why I got this one. A few of the videos I watched, um, the girls were putting it on, it was white, and I was just like, how's it gonna work? And this one is clear. So I just thought I would rather have something like a clear gel instead of like worrying about white gel and encrusting. Um, so yeah, so that's about all I do. Now I take it on and off at night, you don't sleep in it. So, I try to be careful not to put too much of the got to be glued. Um, just enough, as you um, saw in the video, just a little, around my perimeter, um, above my edges. Try not to get it on my hair at all, but just um, around the perimeter of my edges. And um, to take it off, I use a spray bottle with water, um, and I kind of lift um, at the lace, and I'll spray um, and gently pull it um, from my head because sometimes the gel does once you tack it on it kind of spreads so it will probably get in your hair but you don't want to just <laughs> rip it off at night you want to um, take it off carefully so what I do is just spray it with water and gently lift until <laughs> it comes off so I do um, normally put the wig on before I apply my makeup the first couple times um, I did my makeup first and then put the wig on but when you're spreading the glue it kind of like melts into your foundation and it you know it's kind of brown and crusty and you don't want to get that in the hair so I was careful this time uh, for the sake of the video um, and I think I was putting a little bit too much gel initially so that's when I had that you know um, the mixture from the gel and my foundation, which is, it was not pretty at all. Yes, this is it from my Kinky Crown hair. I'm so loving it. It's so different than what I'm used to, but I'm loving it. It's not like drastic change. It's a drastic change, but it's not to where I'm like, I don't like it. I, I'm very particular when it comes to hairstyles. And this is like, so yes, this is the My Kinky Crown Hair Glam Wig, and it is glam, girl, glam. But I think I'm going to go to a stylist to, um, you know, zhuzh it up, get some uh, curls in it and stuff. This is just its natural curl, which I believe is a body wave. It's um, again Peruvian here and it's pretty much like a body wave. It's so pretty. So pretty. But it's just so soft. Like I don't want to keep running my hands through it, but it's just so soft and um, just has a natural sheen to it. Again, I didn't add not one type of product, just the shampoo um, when I washed it and I let it air dry. And that was it. We got body. 
body and balance. B and B. Body and bounce. Body. <laughs> body and bounce. <laughs> I'm so pretty. Don't unsubscribe, please. Stay. This is some good hair. It's some good hair. And it, um, it doesn't shed. That's probably one thing y'all want to know. Very minimal shedding um, the first time I watched it. And you've seen how many times I flipped and you know, ran my fingers through it. And you know here. <laughs> Why am I like this? But you know, we you don't see nothing. Ain't no hair, no beard falling out. What else do I gotta say to you? But www.mykinkycrownhair.com. Thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to check out mykinkycrownhair.com for this glam wig and many others. They have kinky hair, they have straight hair, and everything in between. So check them out. And be sure to check out the description box for money off of your order. And um, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Until my next video, peace.